Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amia Renee, and today I'm going to show you guys my beauty room. So I'm going to give you a full tour of my beauty slash office room. This area is my little office. I've got the folder organizer from Target. The picture of Buddha, my sister purchased it for me because she knew the theme of my room was going to be gold. The little faux plant from Target as well. And the small calendar sitting on the desk and the big calendar in the back also I purchased from Target. So I got everything pretty much from Target, including the actual desk. And my gold trash can to the left, I purchased from Home Goods. Let's talk about my stool. I reupholstered the stool. I want to say originally, I'll insert a picture of how I look. I got it from Home Goods. But anyway, I got a can of gold spray paint from Lowe's Spray Painting and the fabric I got from Joanne Fabric. My lamp and the actual lampshade I purchased from Ross. They didn't come together, I just purchased them separately. And this little gold fixture. Uh, that you can open and you can put items in. I purchased that from Ross as well. Isn't it so pretty? I love the flower on top. I have nothing inside at the moment. And for the end table, I purchased that from Ross. I also purchased this big white fluffy rug from Ross as well. And this little fun area right here is my makeup. Two bookshelves I purchased from Kmart and I pushed them together to look like one long shelf. The gold napkin holder I purchased from Ikea and I just put my makeup or eyeshadow palettes inside along with my eyelash curler. Candle holder and that battery operated candle I purchased from Ikea as well. And the mirror I got that from the dollar store and the hourglass I purchased from Ikea. The picture I purchased from Burlington. I don't even own any Chanel perfume at the moment, but I just like the colors that match with my color scheme. This pretty old gold and brown Buddha my mother gave to me, or purchased for me, I should say. And this beautiful gold candle was my mother's. She didn't want it anymore, so I took it. I believe she got it from Pair One. And of course the same napkin holder that I got from Ikea that I have on the other side. And holding some of my eyeshadow palettes. I haven't even used that one yet. Honestly, I don't even remember when the last time I put eyeshadow on. But I can't help myself from buying palettes still. First little cubby, I have all of my perfumes. First, I have lights in every cubby. But the battery died and I didn't feel like uh, changing them. But anyway, here go a couple of my favorite. This is Miss Dior. I love that scent. But my absolute favorite scent is C from Giorgio Armani. I love this one. Drop down in the comments and let me know what your favorite perfume is. And I purchased a tray from Marshalls. And the next cubby, this first cup I actually purchased from Marshalls. And inside I have different concealers yeah, that I use. And the glass cup in the back was a candle holder and I just put some of those pebbles inside. And they just hold all of my black opal foundation sticks. In the next cubby, both of the cups are from Marshalls. Inside the first cup, I have my, or a few of my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. And the second cup, I just have my lip liners and a couple of my lip crayons. In this cubby, I have all of my MAC lipsticks 
the acrylic lipstick holder I purchased from Amazon. Moving down to the second shelf, I purchased all of my cups from Marshalls. The first cup that I'm holding right here have all of my eye pencils, like for eyeshadow or my eyebrows. The second cup have all of my face brushes for my foundation and powders. And the last cup has my eyeliners. For this shelf, the two gold stands I purchased from the dollar store. Here are some of my MAC eyeshadows that I depot. And in the back, I also have a foundation that I also depot. On the other stand, I have some of my NARS products. On to the next cubby, the little glass ramekin I purchased from IKEA. And inside, I have my Lip Tar lip products. In the back, I have my foundations, and I got that cup from Marshalls. And the last cup, I have more of my liquid foundations. And the next cubby, I have my jewelry box. I purchased this jewelry box from Target years ago, and it's sitting on top of a mirror. Here's some of my jewelry, my Michael Kors watch that I used to love so much, and a couple of my bracelets. In this little ramekin, I have some costume earrings, and inside this pretty little cup, I have perfume samples. Now we're moving on to the bottom shelf, the acrylic organizer I purchased from Amazon, and I have some of my MAC highlighters, um, I'm going to say powder as well, face powder, yeah. And my recycled jar, I just put all of my beauty blenders inside, and... It's an old perfume bottle top I put on top of it. In the next cubby, I have, again, um, one of the gold stands I purchased from the dollar store. And I have some more of my MAC eyeshadows that I depotted. In the next cubby, I purchased a cup from Marshalls. And I just have a lot of my travel size lip products like lip glosses and lipsticks. In the second cup, which was, again, a candle holder, I have some of my skin products. Uh, moisturizers face primers and also eyeshadow primers and pore primers and here we made it to the last cubby the lipstick organizer i purchased from amazon and it's holding most of my liquid lipsticks and a few of my lip glosses I'm trying to focus in on one of my favorite lipsticks from colourpop i think it's either avenue or k from the karuchi collection back I have a few more lipsticks this gold picture I purchased from Ross the triangle shelf I purchased from Marshalls on the top shelf I have a perfume diffuser I purchased that from Amazon the clock I got from Ross right along with this little blinged out candle holder My fuzzy stool I purchased from Burlington. A crazy little cat, Nino, loves to climb inside like it's a little cage. I don't know why, because he does not like his cat cage, but whatever. Let's move over to my window area. The decorations over top of my window, I purchased those from Ross. And my curtains, I purchased from Burlington. I absolutely love these curtains. Did you see the detail close up the little sparklies in the curtains? They are so beautiful. And here I have another triangle shelf. So I have my flower, that's a real flower. A picture of my niece, Taylor Renee, when she was a little baby. Some sage that I burn when I feel like I need to. And just a couple of my fingernail polishes here is my wig that I made my one and only wig I was so proud of it so I decided to put it on display my first makeup book I purchased when I decided to start taking makeup seriously 
this napkin holder I purchased from Ikea and I just have some of my highlighters and blushes on display in it. Isn't that so pretty? That's from Juvia's Place. And here is my bamboo plant. She is real as well. This picture is supposed to be of me when I was in New York. If you're in Times Square, there's a lot of people that want to like draw a picture of you and you just pay them a couple dollars. So, And down here is a couple of my natural hair products that I have on my shelf. This four square shelf I purchased from Ikea. Move on to my vanity area. So the actual table I purchased from Ikea, it came as a actual vanity set. I just took the original mirror top off and put a different one on. The circle mirrors I purchased from the dollar store, I just used them as coasters. And this tray I purchased from Target some years ago and I just have a couple of my makeup products on display. This three cup organizer is from Marshalls and I just have some of my products, makeup products that I use more frequently right here. So these little puff things, I'm not even sure what they're called. They came with um, Mariah Curry's perfume set and they have um, like sparkly, so if you brush it on your chest and your arms, it will come out like glittery a little bit and it smells like her perfume. Inside the vanity drawer, I have some more makeup products. Inside the Shea Moisture palette, I just have some of my blushes and bronzers that I use on a regular basis in there. I depot those and some overflow of my makeup products. The knobs did not come with the vanity. I purchased them from Home Goods and put them on there myself. Let's talk about the mirror. As I stated before, the vanity came with a different mirror. So the mirror was kind of small. So I took it off and I made this mirror myself. I just watched that DIY video. I purchased the Mirror from Lowe's for like $18 and the light bulbs I purchased from Amazon for like maybe $20. And if you see the hand in the right corner, I was trying to show you guys that the lights, they actually dim. You could make them dimmer or brighter. But I think since I have my ring light on, you really can't tell. And under my vanity, I have my makeup case with more makeup. The ring light I use is the newer ring light from Amazon. And this gold mirror and table I purchased from Ross and it holds my TV. So let's talk about my chair. I've been on a search for a chair for my vanity for a year. In my mind, I know what I'm looking for, but I have yet to find it in any stores. So right now, I just have extra fabric. I just put it on the top of my computer chair because you can't see the bottom anyway. And I just use that to film what. If anybody know where I can find some pretty vanity chairs that are on wheels, drop down in the comments and leave them below. So what do you guys think of my room? Let me know down in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <sighs> okay, so we're not gonna do that. All right, wait, wait.